There were differences in mathematical approach between Leibniz and Newton in the discoveries of calculus, but there were also huge differences in their attitudes to publication, and this made a great difference in the years that followed as to how both variations of the calculus were taken up. Leibniz published really very rapidly. He discovered his calculus by about 1676. By the early 1680s, he was publishing it in a journal called the Acta Eruditorum, which he edited himself, so it was easy for him to publish in it. And this went to intellectuals anywhere in Europe. And so the early results were very quickly known. And by the early 1690s, people were already taken this taking this up. The Bernoulli brothers in particular, Jacob and Johann Bernoulli, and also Huygens, uh, were beginning to pose challenge questions and test out the Leibnizian calculus on them. So you very quickly get the calculus developing through these challenge questions because it stretched what people could do. And you have a little group of people who are mutually challenging each other and working on it. There's nothing like that for the Newtonian calculus, which is still hidden. So no one's working on the Newtonian calculus or developing it, really, because only Newton knows about it.